So okay guys, let's start um and assemble this um DIY electric guitar. Uh we will be needing a soldering iron, screwdriver, and it's up to you whichever you wanted to start when you try to build the guitar. Uh, it's easy to start with the neck to put the machine heads because that's the only thing that you have to do at the moment and then you because it's already drilled so there's holes already for the screws and all we need to do is to just connect the neck to the body so yeah i think we can start with this one for now and then we will need to solder uh, the wire was already prepared as well so all we need is just a soldering iron we don't need, need to cut the wires because the wires are prepared even at the back the wires is already there okay right let's start with the neck first this is part of the machine head that's the one put it there and obviously the tuners or machine heads okay okay we'll be needing this one um, and this one as well washer So we've turned it around and we need a smaller screwdriver screwdriver for this one. So we'll be needing a spanner to tighten this one. Also tighten the screw at the back. So we're gonna leave the string tree for later. This one, because there's no markings here on where exactly gonna put it. The next one that we're planning to do is this one because we need to solder this 
Okay, I need to solder that one. So and then we got the strap buttons. Ah, they even gave us the lid. Good, good, good. There's loads here uh, of screws, so we are just trying to guess w which screw goes to where. I bet these uh, long screws are for the buttons, and you got this rubber um, thingy comes with it. So let's put it there. And this one. Right, time to solder this one. So here's the cable, just to test it. Okay, works. There's no diagram uh, came with this, um, came with the box. Okay guys, so I had to Google it. Um, black wire goes to this one the sleeve and then this is the um, tip so it should be uh, white or in my case I think it's the yellow and this one's the black one okay I hope it's correct I think the other thing that we need to assemble first is the bridge because we also need to solder the ground here so it's just one go when I be using the soldering iron. Let's open this one first. There we are. So it came with uh, three springs and then this is the bridge. that one okay it's really really slim this one so that's another thing that we need to upgrade in the future and all the screws here so I think this is where we need to solder this one okay uh -huh. goes like that with this I suppose or are these all the same? No. We'll be using the two long ones. Because Oh no, this, this one, yeah, right, I did struggle a bit with soldering this one, not because I'm not so used to this, but I hope I did it correctly, and now it's just putting a screw, and I'm not sure as well which screw to use for this one screw for the bridge this one which I think if I count it correctly one two three four five six so we've got six for that one two four six we got two extras so these are the ones that okay we found it We've got six for this one. OK, 
Okay guys, I must confess, it's hard work, especially the spring, because uh, it's new, we couldn't solder this ground on this one, it took a long time, I had to scrape it with the screwdriver and heat it, and then this one as well, it's difficult, uh, I might add one more spring uh, here. really hard work putting the springs ah, there we go now I think the next thing to do is to put this cover and we've got the screws here we've got it here the screw okay four screws just gonna put the neck yeah did it turn it around I think we got it to put it guys be okay later Now we got the Allen screw, we'll adjust this one if it needs to be. Hello guys, um, I stayed late last night just to sort of finish this one, or halfway finish uh, the guitar, it's here now. Um, the issue that I got stuck a bit with this guitar was the strings. When I put the strings, you won't be able to play. It's just um, too close to the fretboard, to the frets actually. And then I compensated it by, there you go, uh, lifting the one, raising the um, bridge, the saddle. So the saddles are really really high right even though that's already really high uh, when you press around this area it buzz as well because the nut is also too high so i took again my famous bread knife and another knife just to um because i don't have tools um to file the nut and then i use the excess string to rub and file the nut as low as i can 
do it. So I don't even, it, it was more of an estimate. I don't have uh, the tools or like guide on how high or low uh, to adjust that one. But it did uh, help. I haven't put the string tree yet. Um, and now you can sort of play. There's still some frets here. But I think it's more of the trust rod. I don't know how to do that, or I'm scared to 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 adjust the trust rod. But I think it's got to do with the trust rod. There, it's buzzing. And this is the eight. Um, I tried plugging this one in to my Zoom G1X on. It's got a lovely tone. To be fair, uh, it's got a, a bit of weight. It's not that lightweight as my Lion by Washburn. And then it's like uh, four slabs. One, two, I think the middle bit as well. Three and then four. It's hard to, for you to see, I think, yeah, middle. See, one, two, and in the middle, and then this bit I think here it's hard to tell if it yeah I think that that area there um obviously it's a stock bridge stock pickup oh another thing I also adjust the height of the pickup it's uh, again it's not yet set as I wanted but when I put the guitar on clean tone, all, all three pickups, I adjusted it because it was too low. It was almost level to the pick guard. So it's just um, tightening the screws there and then it raises up. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a next video soon uh, just for you guys to hear how this guitar sounds. For now, this is it. I'll see you later guys, bye for now.